Hi everyone, it's Don, and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Recently I received an email from a subscriber going through a situation that they really didn't and weren't aware of and I thought to myself, I wonder how many people get mixed up with this and it can cause problems when you get close to your cruise that you could end up losing your cabin and being in a cabin you don't want. And so what am I talking about? Well, stick around because I'm going to tell you right after this. So what I'm talking about is cabin upgrades. There's basically a couple types of cabin upgrades. One type of uh, upgrade is when the cruise line sends you an email saying, would you like to move from your inside cabin to a balcony cabin and it will cost you this much. So you have a choice, yes or no. If you say no, you stay where you are. If you say yes, they'll move you to that cabin and you pay the difference. Another type is uh, like, for instance, Norwegian will sometimes put out bids. Um, we have this suite available. How much would you like to bid on it? You put in a bid. If you happen to be one of the higher bids and they contact you and you say yes, you get to move into that suite category for whatever your bid was. So the one that really kind of gets people in trouble is the one when you call in, you're whether an agent or a cruise line, you're booked your cabin, you've picked your cabin location, you know where you're going to be, and then they say, if a complimentary upgrade becomes available, would you be interested? And you say, hey, that sounds great. That sounds fantastic. A uh, complimentary upgrade, I don't have to pay for it, I don't have to bid for it. Yes. I will take that complimentary upgrade if it becomes available. Now what you've just done is you've allowed the cruise line to move you without your knowledge because you just said yes I will take that upgrade. So for instance you decided you want cabins above you, cabins below you, no elevators nearby, you're not over the theater all that kind of things so you picked your cabin location it's close to the pool area a couple one deck up you're good and then they go from your balcony and they move you into a mini suite great except that mini suite is an obstructed view mini suite it's also on the top deck right under the pool so it's not a great location and it's not really much of an upgrade when you put all things in considered so you you see that and you say, oh, I just don't want it. I'll call the cruise line and I'll say, no, thank you. I don't want it. Well, sorry, sir, you're already there and we've already sold your cabin. What? <laughs> That's exactly what happens. The minute you say yes to a complimentary upgrade, if one becomes available, you have now given the cruise lines permission to move you no matter what. And if you don't like that location, well, maybe they'll try and put you in another location, but you may have lost the cabin that you originally wanted at no choice. And you may end up having to pay to get a better location in that category that they moved you to. So buyer beware. If you don't want to go through that kind of hassle and you're not, you just want to make sure you're in a cabin you're going to be happy with, at a price you're going to be happy with, take the original one and when they ask you if a complimentary upgrade becomes available, would you like one? Say no. Because nothing worse than three days before your cruise you get an email saying congratulations, you've been moved to this category. And then you look it up and you hate where the category cabin is and there's nothing you can do about it from then other than get on the phone and try and get it fixed and it just might not happen. So buyer beware, don't take that complimentary upgrade if you're not okay with wherever they put you on the ship. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more tips, more tricks, more travel vlogs from around the world, please hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have yourself a safe and a great vacation.